Out here on the edge of the solar system, three billion miles from the warmth of the sun, a planet has spun through the void, unseen and unknown for millennia. Pluto, a ball of ice and rock, dancing in endless waltz with its gray moon, Charon. From the darkness behind you, an invader appears, silhouetted by the pale sun. A plutonium-powered spacecraft, shrouded in gold foil, bristling with cameras and sensors. New Horizons was the fastest spacecraft ever launched, built to end decades of ignorance about this most distant realm of the solar system. A robotic emissary from Earth, on a one-way mission to the unknown. After nine and a half years of travel, New Horizons had reached its goal. But it would have only one chance, a few precious hours of swiveling and clicking, to map Pluto's surface, sniff its atmosphere, and study its moons. One short flyby to plumb a planet's mysteries or fail in the attempt. On July 14th, 2015 Earth time, success. New horizons flashed through the skies of Pluto, peering down at a rugged world of ice and frost unfolding in slow motion. Mighty mountain ranges stained brown and red. Dark highlands scarred with craters from a violent past. Bright sheets of ice forming a pale heart across Pluto's surface. And nestled above the western curve of Pluto's heart, a chaotic jumble of peaks, the Aladrisi Mountains. Look around. Exotic ices shift under your feet. You are standing where no known creature has ever stood. To either side and behind you, pink mountains of water ice rise as high as the Rockies. Climbing one would not take long. In Pluto's weak gravity, you are as light as a house cat back home. But home is a decade away, low on the horizon somewhere in the glow of the distant sun. To your right, an icy plain stretches hundreds of miles across Pluto's heart, broken and cracked by deep canyons. The moon Charon looms on the horizon. Its surface looks split, evidence perhaps of an underground ocean that froze and burst. A cracked moon in a frozen sky Flying inland from the Aladrisi Mountains, we leave the plains behind. This is Viking Terra. Old ice, dark and deeply stained. Punctured with craters and lined with trenches. And shining through the darkness below you, a bright ring of ice. Elliot Crater. 45 miles across and 2 miles deep. This is the pitted scar of primordial violence, painted red and brown by smog and grime. Billions of years ago, when Earth was inhabited by a soup of simple cells, a chunk of ice and rock the size of a city punched a hole in the planet's crust. Fresh ice poured in, then retreated, leaving a frozen moat around a mile-high central peak. The crater's distant rim is lined with methane frost, an arc of white against the blackness of space. Behind and above you, the sun grazes the crater's rim, a familiar warm pearl among the ever-present stars. East of Elliott Crater lies Pluto's frigid heart, an expanse of ice miles deep 
and hundreds of miles wide. Known as Sputnik Planum, it is dotted with dark hills of water ice floating on the denser exotic ice of the plains. Within each broad plate, nitrogen ice warmed by Pluto's core slowly churns like a lava lamp. Take one last look at this world. Beyond these plains, beyond Pluto's heart, the planet fades to darkness. As New Horizons passed by Pluto, it turned to study the dwarf planet's atmosphere, backlit by the distant sun, the blue halo of an alien sunset and sunrise, seen for the first and only time. The spacecraft carries a pinch of ashes from Clyde Tombaugh, the farm boy who discovered Pluto in 1930 and sent imaginations wandering. The pale dot he saw is now a place, a personality, a world. We will always remember this era, when humanity first explored and surveyed the known worlds of the solar system. But for New Horizons and the human race, there is only one direction, ever outward. Out there in the dark, unknown worlds are waiting. <laughs>